If I drop this way in Sierra Modro, with Gotta Be Mobile with an, another OQO sponsored video from CES. We've got the Asus R50A. We're going to do a quick video look at it. And uh, Sierra is going to go over the specs and show you all about it. So let's get going, Sierra. Okay. You can see here we've got the R50A. This particular model is running Vista Ultimate and is currently in Media Center mm -hmm. for uh, pictures, videos. It's uh, touch enabled, of course. So here we are in pictures and video. Let's let's go ahead and get out of this. See if we can get back to the. I what the screen resolution is? That's pretty tiny. Yeah, this is, let's see here, we've got a 5.6 inch tech panel WSVGA, so I might get some glare on that, but it's a 1024 by 600 with an LED backlight. Okay. It looks pretty bright too. Yeah, it does. This actually, put this plugged in here, um, this actually looks like a pretty bright system. We've got a, a little uh, mouse joystick kind of thing over here mm -hmm. in the corner. All right with the left and right mouse buttons over on the left hand side. Okay, so those are left and right over there. Yep. Right. And they are labeled. We've they look got, like translucent, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's uh, kind of, I would expect these to be lit up. Yeah. They aren't currently, but mm -hmm. I would expect that to be something that they'd want to do. Right. This is actually running just a little bit slowly. It, yeah, it's not even... Oh, it was creating a library. Yeah. No, I don't want. That would explain why it's uh, hitting it's, the hard drive it's so hitting hard. It pretty hard. I can see that hard drive light. That's a, yeah. That's actually pretty unique because most a lot of UMPC vendors are not doing the hard yeah. drive light. Yeah. They've actually got a really nice set of little LEDs here. I mean, mm -hmm. there's there's power, battery, hard drive. There's an email looking LED. Perhaps when you get new emails, this yeah. would light up. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, yeah. and GPS. So it's a pretty okay. complete set. We've yep. got a camera up here right above the uh, the joypad. Yep. Uh, you, you have a gaming kind of D-pad down here below. For probably scrolling web pages. And yep. Dual microphones over here. Uh, a set of uh, buttons for logging in and various types probably of things. Probably a keyboard. And yeah, this looks like it's probably going to bring up a keyboard once I manage to get out of media center. Out of media center. I'm trying to do here. It is this not is, like in Media Center very well, is it? No. Uh, I hope it doesn't this is have running this. Vista Ultimate, so that's pretty memory intensive. Yeah. Let's see what this says it has for one memory. One gig on board. Yeah, one gig on Media Center is going to be a little bit, probably a little bit slow. There we go. Now it exited out. Yep. Finally out of Media Center. All right. So let's see what the uh, little keyboard thing here brings up. Ah, this is actually bringing up what looks like an integrated uh, application. Like a dashboard? For, kind of a dashboard. Brightness, volume. Mm -hmm. You can change your resolution pretty easily here. Uh, entertainment mode. You know what? That's actually a pretty... That screen is bright. Yeah, and this is a very bright spread. screen. Yeah. The, the LED backlights do an excellent job of uh, uniform brightness across the, the full screen. I've been very impressed with the LED backlights on mine. So what do we got there? Uh, it looks like a lock key. Yeah. Or wireless on and Oh, off. no, that's actually the power button. That's apparently. the power button. We just... <laughs> yeah, we just turned it off. off. <laughs> Let's turn it back on here. Maybe it just went Maybe into we standby. Stand yeah, let's hope. Otherwise, we'll get to see how, how long it takes to Okay, boot. so while that's coming out, what else have we got? Uh, this looks like a mini USB, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um... Some antennas where the pen ought to be and is currently missing. Um, another USB looking key here. This might be a camera for the. Uh, oh, that! Wow, look at probably that. Probably for the uh, the back camera. So this does have, in fact, have two cameras on it. It's got a large one in the back, and then the and then small one on the front, front for, for video webcam. conferencing. Yeah. Uh, full size USB. Uh, hmm. Don't know what that does. And behind the port here, looks like maybe another, that might be 1394 possibly. And then a, a lanyard spot. i tell you what, it certainly is a lot more stylish than the R2H. Yeah, this is, this is actually very light, 
very easy to hold on to. Well, that is light. Yeah. The R2, R2H, like, yeah. it was like a brick. Yeah. Uh, this is actually very easy to hold on to. They, they've uh, rounded off the edges very nicely. Uh, I think this looks like it might still be off. Let me see if I turn this back on. That's a unique gold. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uh, stylish to this, to the R50A. Yeah, there's uh, definitely some things that they've done. Is that like a SIM card or an SD card? Yeah. Yep. SIM card? It looks like maybe SIM. It doesn't look big enough. Yeah. It's it's not big enough for SD. No, it's not. It's got WiMAX, uh, 3.5G, so it looks like it takes a SIM card. Yep. Yeah, 3G with HSDPA, so that would be a SIM card requirement. Um, locate, Real-time location with GPS, video conferencing. Low. Yeah, it's a 1.33 gigahertz Menlo uh, platform, 1.33 Silverthorne. Uh, Vista Home Premium or Business, which doesn't explain why this one has Ultimate on it. Uh, wireless Bluetooth. Uh, you know, yeah, there it is. It's a micro SD slot. Uh, I bet you the SIM card is probably underneath. Probably like under case. the battery. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ah, 1.8 inch SSD, 32 gigabyte. It's not performing like a solid state drive, is it? No, no, no. it's definitely not. <laughs> no. In fact, well, I'm not even sure if this is going to turn back on. No. Okay. Well, we gave everybody a quick look at it. Yep. Obviously intriguing. Um, Very intriguing. I wouldn't base the performance of what we've been experiencing here on yeah everyday usage this is just certainly not and it's not even this may not even be a production model right this could be just a, a, a pre-production right. because these obviously are, aren't available for sale yet so it's a, a very intriguing form factor light easy to take with you and overall i think could could prove to be quite an interesting system in the end right all right thanks guys talk to you later thank you